Is there a bright side of challenges? We're going to talk about that on this episode of Five Minutes with Dad. Welcome to Five Minutes with Dad, starring Pavlos and Angela Pavlidis, where you get to spend a few minutes with the smartest and coolest kids in the whole world, and they're dead too. And now, here are your hosts, Pavlos, Angela, and Nick Pavlidis. Who's ready for an awesome episode of Five Minutes with Dad? Hey, me, hey. All right, let's start the show. Hey, what am I, chicken fingers? Yeah! yeah. Or, yeah, no, you're a chicken with a finger. I'm a chicken with a finger, and I'm pointing at you. <laughs> and I'm pointing at your, um, you. Yeah, pointing at me. All right, so we have a fun show and an important show today. How we're working on, because we're talking about challenges, and is there a bright side to challenges? And we're going to talk I about think. that, right? Yes, right. We're going to talk about how sometimes challenges are tough to go through, but they can help you in the long run. Okay, so Ange, what do you want to say? Time for our dance break. Dun, 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 dun. <laughs> Dance break. Because he was like, "What'd you say, buddy?" I said we just started. We just started. Yes, <laughs> we're already taking a break. All right. So before we get dance into the content, break. all right. So that dance break was brought to you by Angela Pavlidis, where all the dancing goes to break. What do you think? All right, Pavlos, we are about to do the joke of the week. Joke of the week. Okay, Pavlos, joke of the week number one. Where do you go on, where do sheep go on vacation? Where? Barbados. 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 Barbados is a vacation spot, but the sheep go by. Ready? All right, Ange. (laughs) Joke of the week number two. Go knock, ahead. knock. Knock, knock. Okay, who's there? Wah. Wah, who? Wow, what are you so excited about? Oh, because I said wahoo? Yeah. <laughs> wahoo! Wah, 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 wah. All right, so this is a, 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 the resource of the week. Resource of the week. Let's talk about the resource, resource of, the of the week. week. This is another indoor game that okay, we've that been playing loud, a lot. So let me do resource of the Okay, that was soft, so let me do resource of the week. <laughs> there you go. That's like, uh, what was the uh, the three bears, Goldilocks and the three bears? The cereal was too hot, one was too cold, and one was just right. That was the just right resource of the week. And this resource of the week is a game called Rummicub. 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 Rummicub is a tile game to play rummy. It's a little bit of of the instructions. So there's all these different type of faces. They're like, they all have different meanings. A black and a white. Do you want to to say what the black and white is? Hi. Okay. I don't think he wants to. Um, Like if you have one color, you like these go up to all 13. If you have one color that you have before the black and the white, you can do a different color after the black and the white. Yes, yeah, so it's like it, it, it does like and they all have they um can all be numbers except one can only be seven and eight. Yes, yeah, so Rummy Cub is a tile well, game that's really, kind of like really, really, all right. It's really, really fun. Really fun. Yes, it's kind of like the card game Rummy, but it's a tile game. So if you want to pick it up, you can go to five minutes dot five minutes with dad dot com slash Rummy Cub R U M M I K U B. Rummy Cub. Five minutes with Dad. Love. Rummy Cub. All right. That's our affiliate link to send you over to Amazon to pick it up. And yes. All right. So now we are going to talk about very important topic. Challenges. I want to say something. Okay. Go ahead. It's a very important topic. Yes. Challenges. All right. So. It's a very important topic. What, what about challenges? Is could be a big bright side. Who wants to say it? Who wants to say it? Go ahead, Pablo. Challenges make you stronger. Yes, challenges make you stronger. So what we're going to do is we are going to give three examples, one each, of how challenges get you stronger, how they make you stronger. So what's a so and then we're going to give examples of what a challenge is that each of us has overcome 
that has made each of us stronger because we face challenges every day. Our homework is hard. Uh, someone uh, we're playing sports and someone is uh, defending us and we need to get past the defender or at work. If you're a parent, you're at work, you have challenges. So lots of different challenges, but when you push through them and when you're able to keep going, even when it's challenging, you end up being stronger. So Pablo's stronger. Like you can like do exercises that make you actually stronger that you don't like, yeah. like swimming is basically hard in the beginning like you can do the little doggy paddle because just like my dad does he he forgets how to learn because he had an accident and he forgets a lot of things but after that before that um but he can just he just does like a little doggy paddle and sometimes he, he does it bigger than do, doggy paddle but he um our grandparents have a pool and we're there be, um because we didn't get to go home we've been here for like a month and Dad came out in the pool like a couple of times, and he only stayed in the shallow because he thinks he's going to drown if he goes in the deep. Yes. And I can go in the deep and dive in seven, wait, no, nine feet down. Yes, because you- And get him because, and you're older than me, but, but you did have the accident, so still. Yeah, that's okay. So, yes, Angela, and, and swimming was hard at first, and now it's easier, right? Yeah. Yeah. Just All right. like it's still hard for you. That's right. Because you're never going in the deep until and if you get I, better. And if I did a lot and a lot, it'd become easier. All no, right, Pablo, stand up. So Pablo is going to talk about how challenges can make you stronger. What's one way, Pablo? Learning new things, which will make those challenges easier. Yeah. So you can learn every time you face a challenge and you keep going, you learn new things. So the next time it's easier for you. Pablo, do you want to give an example? Like my example, challenging homework. I, I can't do that home so i can like the so after the challenge and homework i can do homework that challenging again yeah so when you were learning multiplication at first time it was really hard when you were trying to figure out what six times three is but now that you've done it a few times what's six times three six times three is 18 yes because you've done it over and over again but the first time you wouldn't do it and division too yeah all right angela i want you to talk about the the next way that challenges make you stronger it changes your what Perse- per, um, perspective, perspective right yes and you learn like feeling you learn the feeling of overcoming challenges and fear yes so it changes your perspective so what does that mean you, yep and angie's going to give an example there but so it changes your perspective so when you overcome a challenge your mind looks at challenges differently you're it's less scary because you've done it before and you can feel the excitement of pushing through yep. and overcoming them right mm-hmm. yes so angela tell us the example that you thought of about how a challenge that changed your perspective and you overcame the challenge and fear the very like when i was young um younger the very first day i went to school like my i've never went to school before like preschool um I learned new things, learned how to play with others and a whole lot more. Like I learned how to do like some other things. Yeah, you learned all the different never done. Yeah, different games that we had. You learned new things. Multiplication, like just, division. Yeah. Wait, I don't think I learned multiplication or division in preschool. Not in preschool, but you learned all sorts of different things. Counting I started and learning, alphabets. Um yeah. the multiplication last year. Yeah. And division this year. Yes. All right. So we're not going to school for the rest of the year. That means no MCAS. <laughs> yes. All right. And the uh, MCAS is our is our state's standardized yeah. test. And it, we, it only works on like when you're in third grade all the way up to four, fifth grade, I think. You're lucky. Yeah. All right. And so. Up to the, eighth grade. Up to eighth grade. All right. So number one, and challenges. And that was supposed to be my third. Go on. Yes. So number one, challenges teach you new things. That's what Pablo said. And then when you learn those new things, it makes those challenges easier because you, the next time you already know that challenge. So the challenge that you faced the first time isn't really a challenge the second time. Number two, Angela talked about changing your perspective. So it changes the way you look at challenges. You now experience how exciting it is to yeah. to learn those new things. Mm-hmm. And it's not as scary the next time you face a challenge, yeah. right? Dad, so it's easier and not as scary. And mine is a little bit of each of theirs. It expands it's your capabilities. capabilities. So when you do something once, you can do it again. Yeah. So it's not just that you learn new things that you couldn't do before, but that's where you can do it again if you could do it once. So for me, my example is with work. So when I was a lawyer, 
I, it was not much fun for me. Some lawyers have a lot of fun being a lawyer. I didn't have a lot of fun being a lawyer, but I was scared to stop being a lawyer and become a ghostwriter because yeah. I had never done that before. So I started <laughs> slow and I was ghostwriting just at night after Pavlos and Angela were sleeping. And then I built that up and I built a business from ghostwriting. And now I know I can build businesses. I was really worried. It was a big challenge. And since starting my ghostwriting, I've helped other people start businesses too. So it changed, it expanded my ability to build businesses, to start on my own and to change my job. So now I know I can do all of those things because I pushed through that challenge of doing it the first time. All right, Ange, go ahead. Three or two things. Start with the, start the, with the third one. Third one. I don't know. I'm just <laughs> going to start with the first one. Um, he, the funny thing about one of his businesses is that he has, he helps people. That helps people. Yes, I tell people. I help people help people. And that's my ghostwriting business. I help people get really good books together to help people who read them. Oh, and maybe those people also help other people. And that help people. No, imagine his thing was called help people, 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 help people that help yep. people. Yep. And guess what? That's actually true. Because when you help people... And they help people. Those people are always going to. So like, say, for example, which is true. I have a book. I've written books to help people become better leaders at work. So my clients are people who want to help pe leaders. And then those leaders become better leaders and help their workers. And then those workers become better workers and help the co-workers. And they help their and they become uh, stronger at home and they help their families. So I help people, help people, help people, help people, help people. And if you I go mean, times 1 million. Yeah. And if you go to, I help people, help people.com, that actually leads to my other website. Isn't that and, funny? And one more, and one yep. more thing. He also has a business called five minutes with dad. Five minutes with dad. dad. <laughs> yes. And what do we do? What's our business? We do podcasting, right? Yeah. And the cool thing is, I started when I was two, really, really young. Papa started when he was four, really, really young, too. Yes, yeah, so you guys have been podcasting most of your life. How cool is that? Yeah, when I was two, I was like, wait, what? <laughs> yeah, but we had a lot of like, fun. What's a podcast? And we are well, still doing it. Probably. Yeah. Well, all right. So that's what I wanted to talk about today, the importance of being challenged. The hard things, sometimes you just want to say, forget it. It's too hard. But when you push oh, through you it. Don't. Yep. When you push through, it makes you stronger. You learn new oh, things. Yeah, it You expand. Thing. So you learn new things that are interesting. Oh, wow, that's interesting. You expand your capabilities. You can do more and more and more. You, and it changes your mind. It changes the way you look at things. You learn the feeling of overcome challenges and fears. You do it with homework. You do it with new experiences at school. And even grownups continue to do it. We face challenges every day. And when we push forward, through, we get help. We get help from friends. We get help from family members and we push through together and then we get stronger together. All right, guys, don't forget, pick up that Rummy Cub, yep. five minutes with dad.com slash Rummy Cub for a fun yep. game with your kids. Yep. And everybody, what do you say? Thank you for listening to Five, five Minutes with, with Dad. Bye, 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 bye. Bye. Thank you for listening to Five Minutes with Dad. To connect with Pablos, Angela, and Nick, subscribe to the 5 Minutes with Dad newsletter at 5minuteswithdad.com.